I had to come, Rachel. I, I want to be here for you. I was glad we were able to be there with Grandma when she needed it. Especially since you couldn't be with Daddy when, when he died. I thought about him so much while I was out there. How he always put family first, just like Mom. And how he was so generous, just like her. But there was so much I wanted to say to him. And I thought I had so much time. I'm glad that's... That's not the way it was with Mom. What did you and Eva talk about? Lots of things. She said I was her best friend. I didn't know that. I know she was mine. We, uh, have to have memorial service. Maybe tomorrow? It's too soon, Amanda. Nancy's, what, in Arizona, and we have to contact friends and relatives. Mom had very specific requests about what we were going to do. Well, tell me, uh, she probably said, I don't want one tear shed over me, or I'll come back and knock your blocks off. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <clears throat> well, I guess that we should make arrangements. Um, I'll try to reach Jamie in Africa. Well, good luck. I have a call in already. Well, who else do we need to contact? Let's make a list of people who need to know. Thank you. I want to talk to Rachel about business. so loved and, and so respected. If there's anything at all I can do for you, You don't Rachel, owe me anything. I do. Beginning with an apology. I did some horrible things to you, Rachel. I resented you. I, I didn't trust you. And when you tried to set me straight, I went out of my way to, to badmouth you to anybody who would listen to yeah, me. Yeah, you were pretty self-involved. You know, when I think about all of that now, I, I, I don't even know who that person was. Someone who dressed at the bottom more than her friends. I was a drunk. And I was totally out of control. Listen, you don't need this right now. I, I'm so sorry. Why don't I just leave? No. You started this. Let's finish it. Do you know what it's like? to watch someone you care about set out to destroy themselves. Do you want to know what every day was like for me? I would get up in the morning and I'd have an eye opener and then I'd have a couple before lunch and then I'd have a few more after lunch and then I'd always have some before I went to sleep at night just so I could sleep. The flask, the bottle, it really didn't matter. And my family, my friends, my work, they could all go to hell. But you know what? They didn't. I did. You punished me, Felicia, for caring about you. I did. I'm just hoping with all my heart that you can try to forgive me for that. Are you getting help? Yes, oh, yes, I am. And I, I promised myself that I am going to make it through all of this. It's going to take more than promises. Well, one promise at a time, one day at a time. And with your help, Rachel, one friend at a time. I have so much I have to prove to you, but if you could just try to, to find it in your heart to forgive me even just a little tiny bit. If you could just let me help you right now. If I could just be there for you with the loss of your mother. My family is helping me. When you were talking about Ada before, I, I couldn't help but think about Luke. I mean, nobody in the world knew me better than Luke. I mean, why not? I mean, we practically grew up together. And he loved to talk about the old times and when we were kids. And now I don't have anybody to remind me of those... 
those nights we spent on the rooftop and the picnics and the dreams, all those dreams. And now I know you don't have anybody to remind you of the, of the old times and the stories and the day that you were born and, and the time you took your first walk. I honestly not know what you're going through. You helped me so much when Luke died. Couldn't you please let me help you now? Uh, Rachel? <clears throat> Look, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but we have a little problem with KBAY. Iris, I left everything in your hands. You deal with it. Well, yes, I know that, Rachel, but the purchase order just came in for jam sessions. Tens of thousands of dollars for equipment, I mean. Lighting, microphones, you know, the wish list instead of necessities. And I've got absolutely no intention of paying for it. I mean, not if we're going to sell KBAY. It's money down the drain. Besides, I haven't got a clue what, what half of it means, you know. I do. Alicia will help you with the list. Oh, good. I'll be in the library, Felicia. Thank you. Iris is waiting. Found Stephen. He's okay. Oh, that's great news. Are you all right? How's Allie? Not so good. It's going to take her a while to to figure this all out, honey. Well, Sam's been gone a long time too. She thought it through and then asked me if her daddy had joined her great grand now. You told her her daddy's coming back, didn't you? Sure. I couldn't tell her when. Oh, sweetie. Life isn't fair, you know that. Rachel, um, yes, Alice. What is it? Well, it's business, but don't worry, I can handle it. It's all right, so can I, if it's important. Well, you know, Felicia's been absolutely wonderful, the purchase order. You wouldn't believe it. But we are having troubles with the financial commitments to KBAY. All right, get the papers, I'll look at them. No, we'll handle it, Mom. I mean... It's all right, I lost Mom. I didn't lose my brain. I could stand concentrating on something else for a minute. This is too much for her. I agree with you. I don't think she should be under this kind of stress. Well, I'll tell you one thing. We're going to have to hurry up and sell KBAY. We have no other choice. We're going to get through this, Mom. I know that. Mom told me. I'm so sorry about you, Mother. We're all missing. Thank you, Iris. I'm glad you're here. I was starting to think that maybe something went wrong. Well, actually, uh, tell what them, is Nancy. Yeah, why don't you give them the short version? In a nutshell, we may be having her memorial service here, but Mom went to Peoria. worried about putting you on the stand today, right? When Anderson cross-examines you, he's going to try to make you look like a quack on some kind of new age ego trip. And you're afraid the jury's going to buy it, right? Look, I've decided that I'm going to come right out and tell Anderson that Christy killed Douglas. He's not going to budge unless you have proof. Let's talk about it in the car on the way to the court, okay? Right now, Rachel needs our support. I finished polishing my closing argument so I'd go with you. I go down today. I just cannot wait till this trial is over. Listen, you're gonna be okay without me? Absolutely. I'm not gonna wimp out on a chalkboard like Ada. Listen, I'll meet you back here later, all right? Thanks. I could use the moral support. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hey, I'm I'm a little bit moody, all right? So sue me. You and I, what am I supposed to be acting like I won the lottery or something? Is it 
something I did? Yeah, as a matter of fact, yeah. It, the, the other night, you're, 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 you were dancing around like you were the little prom queen at that party. I, I can't believe this. It was your idea for us to go party. It what, was, you didn't yeah, expect me no, to have a good excuse time? Excuse me, it was my idea that you have a good time, yeah, but you were cutting loose and you were just, I mean, it was like you, you, you forgot everything that we just went through. Oh, I had no idea I was being judged. You know, I don't even want to talk about this. I'm, I don't want to be late for Ada's memorial.